Will we ever see Kaepernick play again? I don't believe so, Skip. It's just hard for me to believe, like any other profession, that you can get better or stay consistent at that profession if you don't practice your craft. A surgeon doesn't get better by not performing surgery. An artist doesn't get better at painting without painting. Cap hasn't played. It's going to be coming up. If he doesn't play this year, it'll be two years. Yep. The further and further you get removed, the less and less likely it is to get signed under his circumstance. Now, we've seen the Carolina Panthers made a decision. They're like, hold on. We need a safety. Okay, who's the best available free safety that's on our board? Oh, it's Eric Reed. Mm -hmm. Now, we've seen teams need quarterbacks. Who's the best available quarterback on our board? Well, it might be Cap, but let's go get this guy to retirement. Let's go get this guy that hadn't played in four years. Let's get this guy that played like 10 years ago. It's like they're not making football decisions. Mm -mm. Um, I think the biggest thing that helped Eric Reed get signed, mm -hmm. Skip, and you probably agree with me, you might not, is the Nike ad. Yeah. It broke a lot of the ice. Yeah, it did. Because you look at what Nike was able to capitalize on, you hear about the the, the record revenue growth, and people are like, well, you know what? Maybe th that's not as bad. I don't think it was bad at all, but perception. And here's the thing about perception. Mm -hmm. Perception is a mm -hmm. person's reality. Yep. And the perception, well, this is not as bad as, as it seems. Mm. If Nike, a global brand, is really to I agree. chum up nope. to cap. You're right. So this might not be that bad. It has impact. Yes. Now, you know? David Tepper, who's the new owner of the Carolina Panthers, he's always been outspoken. He's always believed in the players and what they have and what they were doing. He believed. He said on MSNBC. CNBC. CNBC. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. CNBC. I, I didn't. I, I read this in Jarrett Bell's column in USA Today yeah. about the, the interview. I didn't know on September 13th. Mm -hmm. he'd go ahead. Yeah. And, and, and that's and that's what he David said. Tepper. For, right. Did. So he's all. He's always kind of been. Like, yeah, yeah, and, and didn't like some of the things that were going on or what was said about the players. Well, but he it, didn't like President Trump's suggestion that protesting players are unpatriotic, and he just went off, and the quote was, that's the biggest pile of bull dinghy ever. And he went on to say, these are some of the most patriotic people and some of the best people. These are great young men. Well, I, we agree. And so the, he really stepped out on yeah, this one. And that's what I like about him, Skip. Yeah. I'm not, look, it's hard for me to believe that all 32 of the owners, mm -hmm. well, 31 of the other owners, yeah. feel the exact same way as President Trump does. But he had the guts. He has the courage to say it. He did. Nah, bro. He, he's brand new, man. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. And that's what I love about him. I, he, he, he might, he's one of my new favorites now. Yeah. I, then I like he it. asked the interviewer on CNBC to recite the Pledge of Allegiance with him, liberty and justice it's for a, all. Uh -huh. Isn't that what we're all about? Hmm. No. That's huh. not what we're all about. Okay. But, but Skip, you making millions. Why are you upset? Hmm. I mean, we had a black pre two-time black president. Why are you upset? Mm. That's what they'll point to. They'll point to the the the, the hits and there. Look at LeBron James. Look at Michael Jordan. Look at Oprah. But they don't say that about any other any other group. Yeah. So just for the record, Colin still has a pending collusion lawsuit against the league. Right. But um, Eric Reed just has a pending grievance collusion grievance, right. and I think there's a little difference. There's more magnitude to the lawsuit. Okay. So would that make it a little harder to, to sign Cap I, or, or for Cap to sign? Maybe right. it would maybe. blow up his lawsuit. Yeah. Like, okay. But yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. So if I if I'm suing Fox, Fox is not going to hire me back. Right. I'm sorry. I mean, you be, come on now. Let's be real about Let's this. Be real about it. But what did I campaign for before the season started? My Cowboys have no backup quarterback of, of note, uh, anybody I would trust to step in for Dak Prescott. Skill set, Colin Kaepernick, Dak Prescott, and it's really simple, like, yeah. wouldn't it work? Yeah. And so I said, Jerry, and you laughed at me, which you probably should have, or you scoffed. <laughs> Jerry Jones signing Colin Kaepernick, well, it would be a breakthrough. It would be the greatest thing that could ever happen because he would work. And then I thought, oh, they're just going to go forward with their kids, Mike White and, and Cooper Rush. And the next thing I know, last week they bring in Landry Jones for a workout because they're still right. unsure about their backup right. quarterback who obviously got cut by Pittsburgh, and, and he's still on the market, right. Landry Jones. They didn't sign him. But still, w what about Colin? Mm -hmm. I, don't I, I, I don't even I don't. That's not even – that is not even – Possible. Okay. There are two places we know he's not going. Mm. The Dallas Cowboys and, and the other team is in Texas also, the Houston Texans. That's not going to happen. You were right. Because they've been very outspoken, mm -hmm. even, even Washington. So we know he's not going there. But it's just hard for me to believe, Skip. Because here's the thing. I'm almost – I don't want him to come back now. 
Because you know what's going to happen, Skip? Let's just say for the sake of argument, he comes back and he has to play. And he's not as sharp as he needs to be. See, everybody's going to say, see, I told you. That's why nobody signed him. They don't look at that he's been away from the game for two years. They don't look at things like that. All they're going to say, see, I told you he couldn't play. So now, just, hey, mm-hmm. Cap, you did what you wanted to do. I understand. Yes. You made you made your statement. I would have loved to have a team get the opportunity in 2017, last year to play, but now it's not even it's not even worth it. Yeah. It's not even worth it. it. It still hurts my heart to even envision him standing on the sideline as a backup quarterback because right. he's just better than that. Yes. Is he not better than I don't know six or eight starting quarterbacks right now? Absolutely. But doesn't his resume suggest that he deserves to be a starting quarterback? Is he too old to be it? No, he's not too old, but. We got lots of issues built up where I just don't see it either. I don't well, see, see it happening. Uh, him rushing for 181 playoff yeah. yards in a game against the Cow- against the Packers, yep. beating the Packers twice in the he playoffs. He, him he throwing- won at Lambeau. Yeah. He him beat throw- Aaron Rodgers at Him Lambeau. throwing for 300 in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. him going to all these NFC Championship games, Skip, that's lower on the resume than he kneeled during the playing of the National Anthem. See, that's number one. When you go to Colin Kaepernick, I guess if you click, that's the first thing you're going to see. Anthem protest. Mm. There ain't going to be nothing about the Super Bowl. There ain't going to be nothing about the NFC Championship game. Okay, but in the long run, maybe that's a great thing. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. But I think the Nike ad had a major role in doing this because the perception is starting to fall that guys that kneel during the playing of the anthem, they're not protesting the anthem, they're not protesting the military or veterans or anything like that. They're trying to bring, where, raise awareness to what's happening in, in America. Mm. I agree. It's going to be tough for him to come back. But if, and this is a big if, he ever got the chance, it'd be a pretty legendary it would be. legendary yeah. comeback if he was yeah. able to pull it off. But we're moving on. Will Baker Mayfield lead the Browns to a win on Sunday? We'll discuss that next.